recording. All right, so these are the myomeres, and then the septums between them are the myosepta, and then these from the horizontal splatginous septum up are the epaxials. From here down are the hypaxials. These that are more lighter in color are the white, um, fast glycolytic fibers. And then these here, in between here, are the red, um, slow oxidative fibers. Uh -huh. And then all of these, you'll see some are, some of these myoseptum go different ways. All of these are the longitudinal bundles. And so that's it for this region. You can also see them um, here. So here would be the epaxials, here would be the hypaxials. This would be the neural arch and it's the little arch right here. Here would be the hemal arch and you can see they injected it in the hemal arch because that's where the arteries and the blood supply to the tail go. This would be the centrum of the vertebrae. And then when you go farther up and follow the epaxials, right above the gills you have the epaxial um, epibranchials. And then here you have the cucularis and it's more triangular shaped. And then when you look deep into the cucularis, in between the arteries that are injected, here you have the lateral inner arcuals right here. This is it, and it's a little bit chunkier. Then when you look, it looks like it has a jaw. Really, really deep in there. You'll see three. Let me see if I can zoom. You'll see three tiny little strands, and those are the dorsal interarcules, and they point more rostrally or more cranially. Okay. And then when you look inside of the third, or inside of all of them, when you scrape off these lamellae, you'll see here the inner branchial muscles. Okay. And so those are the ones you need to do for there. Looks like it's got an extra jaw over there. <laughs> and then here are the um, dorsal fin muscles, cranial fin muscles, ventral fin muscles, and then when you look deep within the last, and it, this is all in all of them, but here is the coracobranchial, uh -huh. and so here you'll see the cartilage here that separates the cranial fin muscles from the coracobranchial muscles. Okay. And then when you look on the ventral side, here, you'll have the inner arcule or the corco arcule here. It connects under here to the corico hyoid mm -hmm. and the rectus cervicis muscle complex. And then here is the corico mandibular muscle. So it goes to the coracoid bar all the way to the mandible. The coracohyoid goes all the way from the coracoid bar to the hyoid. Then when you look um, more superficial to the coracomandibular, you have the inner hyoid here, and it's inner between the hyoids. Then you have the inner mandibular, which is more superficial. So on the exam, you may see that they're connected to each other. And so whenever I point more superficial, it's the inner um, mandibular. When I point more deep to the other side of it, it's the inner hyoid, if they're stuck together. This is the adductor mandibulae, and so it's really big. It adducts the mandible, and that's what the shark uses its chomping motion for. Um, then when you look on the dorsal side, you'll see the levator collata quadrati here. Mm -hmm. You don't want to confuse it with the levator hyomandibulae, which is here. Then this is the spiracle. Then the muscle that is on the spiracle is the spiracular. And then whenever you're looking at the gills region, uh -huh. you'll see like these little tiny regions where the slits are. Mm -hmm. And for those, you would refer to the image, but the ones that are on the first gill, you have the hyoid traumatic constrictor, and then above it, you have the ventral hyoid constrictor dorsal. muscle, or dorsal, sorry, dorsal hyoid constrictor muscle, then ventral 
highway constrictor muscle here. Then you have the dorsal um, superficial branchial constrictor, ventral superficial brachial constrictor. Whenever they're past the first one, they're the branchial. Whenever it's above, it's on the hyoid. And then for the eye muscles, whenever you pull, so this is the eyeball, the eyelids have been cut off. The conjunctiva is this thin part here, and it's what you cut through to get to see the muscles. Whenever you pull the eye down, you can see here the oblique, dorsal, uh -huh. oblique, dorsal rectus. Sorry, say that again. Was... Dorsal oblique, dorsal rectus. Okay. Then when you pull it back, are up. Ventral <laughs> oblique, I see that already. Ventral oblique, and then the ventral rectus, which would connect there. Can you point the ventral oblique again? It's harder to see it in here, but yeah. Yeah, although if you look at it from this angle, you can see it clear as daylight. And then here you could see part of your lateral rectus, but I cut through it and you'll see the stub of it here. Mm -hmm. It would connect there. Um, and then you'll see here where all of the uh, four see. rectus come out. Optic pedicle. The optic pedicle is right here, and it's the stalk that's in the very middle. Um, whenever you move it, you can see that it connects to the eye. The medial rectus is underneath. You can see it more when you pull the eye down. And then you'll see the preorbitalis muscle here. Oh, the branchial traumatic constrictor. We're removing the skin. Are we removing that, like from here?